But our top story this morning, packing a major punch. Typhoon Nagori is bringing 250 kilometer an hour wind gusts. This is the equivalent to a Category 5 hurricane in the US and heavy rains to Japan's southern coastline. The storm, which has killed at least two people in Japan, has forced hundreds of thousands on the island of Okinawa to leave their homes and seek shelter. A typhoon advisory has also been issued for Korea's southern Jeju Island. Officials are warning residents to prepare for heavy rain, strong winds and high waves. Shin Semin starts us off. Bringing heavy winds and rain, Typhoon Doguri is turning northward towards mainland Japan. It's also directly influencing waters off Korea's southern Jeju Island. The Korea Meteorological Administration issued a typhoon warning over the waters Wednesday morning, saying the storm will bring torrential rain and high winds. According to the alert, Jeju Island could see up to 30 millimeters of rain per hour, with the wind gust of up to 20 meters per second. The strongest typhoon so far in the 2014 Western Pacific season was at its most powerful when it passed Okinawa on Tuesday. At least two people have been killed and more than a dozen injured. Japanese officials have issued the strongest warning to residents in the typhoon's path, and over 500,000 people on the islands were forced to seek shelter. All domestic flights to and from Okinawa have been cancelled until further notice, and over 95,000 households in the region have no power. Noguri has lost some of its intensity from its original status as a super typhoon, but it still remains intense, packing gusts of more than 250 kilometers per hour. Noguri will directly affect Jeju on this Wednesday and make landfall on Japan's Kyushu Island late Wednesday local time. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.